doggone glad to be here. You have no idea. I just turned 21. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> on you. And the joke. I turned 21 three times, just so I could say I'm going to be forever 21. Hey. I won't have time for 23 in me. I'm stuck on 21. Do you know what 23 in me is? That's that ancestry stuff. Never mind. <laughs> I can handle one bomb, not two. Um, <laughs> so my comedy career has really been taking off, and I want to celebrate that. Mostly at bus stops. <laughs> and it counts. I was on the bus, and I wanted to learn Snapchat, so I asked this four-year-old. And he was like, uh, started talking, and his mother did, and I was like, oh, snap, they want to chat. <laughs> then I went around trying to find out how to do Instagram. Wound up in some back alley where somebody gave me a baggie of something powdery and said, Here's your Instagram. <laughs> so that's how my comedy career is going. <laughs> so um, I don't get notes because I'm old. <laughs> so I joined the Army way back when. Give it up for the military. <laughs> speaking English, in case you don't know what the military is. Um, so when I was in, it was so long ago that that phrase, take a knee, really meant something. It meant, get on the ground, here comes the general, you know what he wants. <laughs> and it also meant that if you were on the rifle range and you got qualified with any kind of weapon, it was because the trainer was cocked and loaded, not the weapon. But I survived and I'm thriving. I don't care, whatever. I always like to leave people wanting a little bit more. But I told you my whole life story is impossible to tell you anymore. That would be magic. And I do comedy. Okay, so that didn't get a laugh, but it killed that first 